Um, hi everyone, this is Ann Doe um, at Emory University. Um, I'm here with a couple of colleagues who will help me to answer questions later. Um, and um, today I'm going to give you a brief overview of AIDSview. Um, so first there will be some slides and then we'll go through um, a live demonstration so you can see what AIDSview look like. Um, I think the best way to learn uh, about AIDSview is really just to go into the, um, go online and explore it on your own, but um, I hope that we can get you started on that today if you're interested in AIDSview. Um, next slide, please. But before we start talking about AIDSview, I think it's important to first acknowledge um, the reason why men who have sex with men um, uh, are a high priority group when it comes to HIV prevention. And I think that this chart really tells the story, um, which is overwhelmingly the HIV epidemic has over time affected MSM more severely than any other HIV risk groups. Um, and um, click please. Much of the burden that we see among MSM um, is really among MSM of color. Um, can you click please? Thank you. Um, and especially among uh, black MSM on, on this chart shown in purple and, um, and Hispanic and Latino MSM shown in the, the, the green bar in this chart. Um, now, the data that you see here um, on the chart are national HIV surveillance data, but in terms of the prevention work that's being done on the ground, um, that's really um, done locally. And so the kind of data that's needed to support that work is really local HIV surveillance data. And this is where AIDSview can be helpful. Next slide, please. AIDSview is an interactive online mapping tool um, that allows you to visualize HIV surveillance data. Now, what's really unique about AIDSview is that not only can you see um, data at the state level, which you normally can also find in an, uh, a CDC surveillance report, but you can also visualize local HIV surveillance data. So at the county level and at the zip code level um, that collectively represent over 60% of the US HIV epidemic. And um, this, real, this really aligns with the mission for AIDSview, which is to make data widely available, easily accessible, and locally relevant for public health decision making. Next slide, please. AIDSview can map HIV data by state, county, um, at, at the state, county, and zip code level. And here's an example of HIV um, data in Texas at the different levels. Um, the data on, at the zip code level are shown on the far right here for the city of Austin. Um, and as you can see, uh, when you map out HIV data at the local level, so at the county and zip code level, you can really get um, uh, more of a sense of where the, uh, the epidemic is um, affecting um, people most heavily um, and uh, point to where the resources and um, prevention efforts are most needed. Next slide, please. Um, AIDSview can also map cases or rates, and this is important depending on what you want to accomplish. For example, if you're planning resources for HIV care and treatment, then the number of cases, um, such as the example shown on the left for um, MSM in Florida, uh, may be more informative. But if your objective, on the other hand, is 
to, uh, to do an HIV testing campaign or identify where PrEP services are needed than um, the data on HIV rates rather than number of cases, um, which is shown by the map on the right, um, may be more helpful. Um, but do note that there is a difference between cases and rates. So the larger areas that tend to have more cases don't always um, necessarily translate to areas with higher rates. Um, and um, cases and rates um, can be visualized in AIDS view for new diagnoses as well as prevalent um, cases and rates. Next slide, please. Um, so this is just an example of um, uh, newly diagnosed cases and rates. Um, cases on the left and rates on the right. Next slide, please. These you can also map data that are stratified by basic demographics like age, sex, race, ethnicity, and transmission category. Um, and these, uh, these maps um, here is an example showing um, uh, HIV prevalence by transmission risk in Louisiana um, at the county level. The, uh, the stratification for um, male to male sex is on the far left, and then next to that is male to male sex and injection drug use. Uh, next slide, please. Next slide, please. Um, another really interesting mapping feature is the service locator. And here's an example showing service providers in Atlanta. Um, the map on the left show uh, cases of HIV among black persons living with HIV overlaid with locations of the Ryan White Medical Treatment Centers. Um, Ms. Rose. Uh, uh -huh. um, Excuse me, I think uh, someone oh. may need to oh. mute their phone. Yes, I'll thank you. I'm in the middle of Yeah, so, Yeah, sorry. C can, um, um, what we can do is maybe to mute all lines, and then if you unmute um, Julia, if you can help us with that. Thank you. Thank Just you. a reminder to be, please mute your line. Thank you. Um, so the, the map on the right um, shows the HIV prevalence rate overlaid with um, locations of HIV testing centers and PrEP service providers. Um, using these maps, um, can, can, uh, you can identify areas where different services are needed. Um, so, um, for example, on the, the map on the left, um, you can see some darkly uh, shaded areas where there are no nearby um, treatment centers um, in the southern part of the city there. Um, and um, the one on the right, also, there are PrEP service providers, um, which are shown in um, the black markers there. Um, there are some areas um, darkly shaded, um, showing um, areas that have an unmet need for PrEP service providers. Next slide, please. Um, so in addition to the maps, there are also uh, profiles, state and city profiles, which are brief summaries of key statistics uh, in a report format that you can print out and download. Um, and these are just some examples, uh, state profile of West Virginia and uh, city profile for Nashville. Next slide, please. Um, one exciting new development this past year um, was the release um, of the first ever state level um, interactive map uh, on PrEP use. And um, these data were just um, updated in November. And um, this is important um, because PrEP is so, uh, can be so highly effective um, that we um, need data to inform us um, of the pattern and trends uh, of use so that we can know how to maximize um, the potential benefit of PrEP. 
Next slide, please. There are other resources as well in AIDSview, and some of these are shown here. Um, there are Q&A sessions, um, such as um, the one shown here on the effect of HIV on young gay and bisexual men. Um, these Q&A sessions feature uh, leader, uh, leaders and experts in their fields, um, highlighting the latest information on specific issues. There are also infographics. Um, some examples are shown here from the um, um, Gay Men H, um, HIV Awareness Day. Um, and uh, there are also deeper look pages, uh, which are like short articles that um, give a more in-depth view on certain topics. Um, and also the data behind the maps in AIDSView um, are all downloadable. Um, so you can do your own analyses or um, use them for um, different purposes. Um, I also want to mention that coming in the summer of 2019, um, we're anticipating including interactive mapping features um, for um, view it, for visualizing the HIV care continuum data. So that's something to be on the lookout for. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Um, so this is just uh, what I was mentioning, um, HIV continuum data, um, which, um, you know, we, we hope to incorporate into the other resources um, this coming year. Um, next slide, please. So now we're ready for the live demonstration. So let me just click on share here. Uh, okay. Um, okay, I can't hear. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Okay, can everybody see my screen? Yeah, we can see your screen. Thank you. Okay, great. So this is the landing page for AIDSView. And um, when you get to AIDSView site. Um, and one thing I want to point out is that AIDSView will detect your location and provide um, some information about your area. So as you can see here, I'm in Atlanta, so it's displaying some options um, for looking at data in Atlanta. Um, but to get to the map, you click here. And it'll take you to um, the map with some default settings. And so first I'm going to just um, orient you to what's on the screen and then we'll do some clicking and uh, show you the different features. Um, so the default um, here is showing data at the county level. Um, and but you can also, if you look over here on this panel, you can see data at the city or the state level. Um, the default shows prevalence data, but note here, you can look at new diagnoses. Um, um, and the default is looking at rates, but you can also view cases. Um, also, there's a number of different options um, to look at the data stratified by age, by sex, race, ethnicity, um, transmission category. Um, and then there's a feature where you can um, look at the HIV data map next to uh, a map um, uh, showing uh, different um, social determinants of health. Um, so we'll take a look at that as well. Um, and then I, I mentioned in the presentation about the uh, service locators, and um, that's um, here. Um, so now, um, let's look at, at some uh, examples. Um, so this is what it looks like when you click on the city. 
uh, level mapping feature and you can select a city. If I select Atlanta, it'll show the zip code level map for Atlanta. Um, and then for state level, um, this is what it looks like. Um, and then if you hover over each of the state, you can see um, some in basic information. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go back to county. So this is the um, prevalence data for new diagnoses. If you click over here, um, this is diagnoses for the year, uh, new diagnoses for 2016, but you can select uh, new diagnoses for each of the years going back to 2008. Um, okay, um, I forgot to mention that on the state map here, note that you can view prevalence, new diagnoses, mortality, and the PrEP. The PrEP map is at the state level as well. Um, um, yeah, okay. Um, Let's see, so rates and then cases. Um, and then, um, you know, here showing you that you can uh, select uh, an age group. So these are the data for age 13 to 24. Um, and then to select another um, uh, stratification, you'll have to reset. And then if I select a sex, um, in this case, male, um, I can also select a transmission category for males. And then just to show you for data comparison, um, I'm going to do a data comparison with poverty. Mm. Um, so the map for HIV on the left, and this is um, poverty on the right. Um, now, you can also view the local data by clicking here and um, select, let's say, Georgia. Um, so for Georgia, you can view the state level information or the city level information. If I click on Atlanta, um, you'll see the zip code level map for Atlanta at the top, and then there's um, a profile page for Atlanta at the bottom here. And the, the city profile page is also where you can find the data on um, transgender persons. Um, oh, oh, oh I, we, so we don't have data for transgender persons uh, in Atlanta. Um, I think there is in Mississippi. Um, so I'm just gonna click on the city of Jackson here. And estimated number of transgender persons living with HIV, um, the number for female to male and the number for male to female. Um, so now, under tools and resources, I just wanted to point out a few other things that you can get from AIDSView. Um, the deeper look pages. Um, right now we have two, one on HIV in the South and one on PrEP um, for infographics. Um, these are the most recent ones. Um, World AIDS Day in 2018, um, one on PrEP and then Here's one from the um, National Gay Men's HIV AIDS Awareness Day. Um, and here is where you can find data sets to download um, and you can choose data sets by year. Um, and then here's another uh, resource. It's called How Do You AIDS You? These are examples of how um, AIDS You um, has been used to support um, the work um, that different um, different um, groups and people have um, have done. So just some examples. Um, and um, so that's the demonstration. Um, 
Um, so I, I think, um, is there time for questions? I'm, I'm certain we will do so. Uh, before we go into it, can you stop sharing by uh, by saying stop when you go into your screen? It's on the top of it. Stop sharing. That would be great. They appreciate because we can see each other. Wonderful. So, Anne, um, there is a question I saw um, that was in the chat room, and that was from um, from Danielle. Uh, Danielle, do you want to quickly unmute your line and ask your question? So, you, Danielle, we can't hear you, unfortunately. You need to unmute your line on the lower left. Okay, can you hear me? All right. Loud and clear. Um, I was just wondering what the source of the HIV data is. Is it based on surveillance data? Yes, it's um, HIV surveillance data. Um, and we get uh, I, the county and state level data we get from CDC, and the zip code level data we get directly from the um, local health departments, local or state health departments. Thank you. Yep. Do we have any other questions for for Anne? If you don't mind, I'm muting your line and ask the question. And a question that I that I heard early, sorry, that I heard earlier is about um, are Ryan White data included in your AIDS view uh, database at this point? Um, I'm going to let um, my colleague Elizabeth answer that one. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Pembleton. Um, so yes, uh, we currently do not have Ryan White um, data in our uh, maps. We do have the Ryan White care providers in our service locator information um, and our service providers, but at this point, our state and county level 